I feel like I really, really must go for a run now. And I think I've just about got enough time to do that before I get Jasper. Not got time for the long run I need, but any run is better than none. That's my motto anyway. Only 20 minutes worth of exercise because that's all I've got time for, but at least I've done some. I think I'm gonna try and do a bit of a renovation project, you know, on me. So this body renovation, also known as getting the beach body I've always wanted, is going to take the form of two separate sort of things. Firstly, I'm gonna try and do a 20 minute run every day, just before I have a shower, I have a shower every day, so therefore it makes perfect sense to try and squeeze that 20 minutes, 20, 30 minutes worth of exercise in. And the other thing is I'm gonna try and stick to the calories on Fitbit so that I actually lose some weight but I'm probably not gonna to be too bothered about what exactly constitutes those calories because I do have a little bit of a thing for, well, cabbage cream eggs. In fact, chocolate in general. Oh dear, it is not looking like good weather, is it? So I think I'm gonna leave my camera here. Yeah, that's a good idea. Today what we're talking about is electric Can planes. Get me a cookie. Can get me a cookie. <laughs> yes. Can get me a so electric aircraft. They basically, just like with me, <laughs> there's basically a problem. And it's not so much the power, the energy, it's the weight for that given amount of energy. And it's exactly the same thing for me. One of the reasons I want to lose a bit of weight, I've got about eight kilos I want to lose down to the sort of ideal weight for me. And a large part of the reason for that is because it will make my electric skateboard a lot more effective, shall we say, especially at climbing hills. You know, and these things have like a hundred kilo limit and you know, I'm heading in that direction. That's the reason why I want to do that. And it's a bit similar with electric aircraft in that they also have a real weight problem. Weight is the key factor for any aircraft, in fact. And just like with me, where I've got two ways that I'm hoping to combat this issue, we've got the exercise end of things, and we've also got the calorie counting end of things. Well, with electric aircraft, there's also two solutions. You can design, based on the fuselage, a really efficient, method for generating a lift and you can utilize the benefit of such a high grade energy source on board you know batteries electricity and have lots and lots of really small fans ducted built into the wings flying body designs they tend to be very good from an efficiency point of view and then you've got the other method which is to actually just increase the percentage of batteries in terms of the overall weight of the aircraft and in order to do that what you want to do is basically turn them into structural elements within the aircraft. Now there is a downside to having batteries be a structural element of the aircraft. It means that battery swap for quick turnaround is not really gonna be feasible. Because, you know, I mean, you'd be like swapping the wings on the plane, pretty much. But that said, there probably is a way to do it. Just, you know, you have to get inventive with the design, which is not something that aircraft manufacturers have been very good at. You know, commercial aviation and innovation. They would say that they're being very innovative, of course. But if you actually look at all the different aircraft types out there, they're all basically sausages with wings. Not my idea of an innovative fuselage design. The military, on the other hand, well, they are a little bit less risk averse because of the nature of what they do. And so consequently, the designs do get quite a lot more interesting and varied. And this whole electric aircraft piece that we're doing today is basically being brought on by an article that I was reading on the BBC of all places, where they were saying about a company called The Wright Company, I presume that's Wright as in Wright Brothers, that's how it's spelt. And they're aiming to build a 150 passenger airliner essentially that can fly from London to Paris 
you know, good 300 miles, no problem, and has quick swap batteries, and they're expecting that with the reduction in operating costs, presumably due to servicing as well as fuel, but either way, the reduction in operating costs is hopefully going to make tickets substantially cheaper on, on that route. And it's estimated that most short haul flights would be able to go electric eventually within sort of 10, 20 years. Now they are counting on battery improvements to help that out and batteries are going to be improving, largely thanks to electric vehicles. Whereas at the moment it's not really feasible and it is just a design. They don't have a working model or anything like that. They have a little bit of competition in the form of Airbus. Airbus has got a two seat trainer aircraft called the E-Fan and they've been designing that and building it and testing it for years and they're actually going to build some because trainer aircraft you know you want them to be cheap they don't have to go any kind of distance so you know they're actually kind of perfect for starter electric planes and there are other electric aircraft designs i mean you can get really exciting with it there are so many designs out there for really short range essentially manned drones that will hop you from one side of a city to the other avoiding all of the traffic and other problems in between i mean that sounds like quite a, an interesting exciting and innovative development again batteries are the key batteries have always been the key and the problem is without the massive r d input of an industry like the automotive industry there's just it's just too much of a leap for most plane manufacturers they're not going to put five billion into a battery factory that they might find that actually they just don't need it or more to the point they put that money in only to find that the batteries are not yet good enough and it will take another 10 15 years of a development before they can actually make a commercial product out of them I mean, obviously they, they're not going to do it it's just not an investment that their shareholders will put up with i'm going to go see to jasper now I've just realised I haven't actually signed off for today's video and it's all got really busy and really late and I'm in the process of trying to catch up with all the various bits and bobs that, that go into well this and, and so the rest of life. So with that in mind, I'm going to say goodbye for the day. I hope you've enjoyed today's video. If you have, remember to like it and share it and subscribe if you haven't already. And follow me on Instagram if you don't already. And I'll see you tomorrow for the next instalment of my daily vlog. Bye. Can I get me a thing to cook cooking now? Yes, I can. Just give me a second. Okay. <sighs> Electric plates. And give me a cookie. And give me a cookie. <laughs> yes.